All right, so this is my little spare wood pile, and I've got this piece of Purple Heart that I think will be perfect for trying to make a knife. Now, this knife could probably cut butter, cheese, and I'm also thinking cigars. So let me see how hard it will be to actually make a knife out of this. Maybe later I'll try the Paduke, and I worry about the density of, like, walnut, and I've got some ambrosia maple in there, so let me just first try this. I'm just doing this freehand, so I see why people having templates is really helpful. Um, yeah, this is my first time doing it, and I'm glad I did it this way. I wanted to see what it would be like and how I would do just doing it freehand. And you'll see with the many cuts I'm making that I am obviously making some mistakes and not being very efficient. But um, you know, being creative and doing things for the first time does not always have to be efficient. Overall, this really didn't take me that long. This was my first time using this wind sander. I think it was like 60, 70 bucks on Amazon. Uh, great purchase. I really like, um, I really liked using this. So I highly recommend it. So with my random orbital, I went from 80 grit to 240, and now I'm doing the mineral oil. You know, I've, I know some people put CA glue on the blade to, to make it harder, but this is my first time. I just wanted to see what, what it would do with just mineral oil. So putting that on. I do love Purple Heart. And then I let it soak for probably about an hour before I wipe that off.
and you'll get a, another close-up of it later when it's dry and I'll talk about some flaws so this is Colby Jack I mean it's kind of a soft cheese anyway and you'll see it's not a clean cut kind of a smash a smash cut so it definitely can be used to uh, spread some cut and spread some soft cheeses and then here's a uh, Cutting a cigar, I found out you just need slits. If you can cut an X in a cigar, that is plenty. That allows for plenty of airflow. So I thought it'd be cool to take spare pieces of wood to make cigar cutters, and it did it. It did. It all has to do is go through that cap, and that's exactly what it did. I think that cigar is a little dry, and that was, that's a cigar I don't really enjoy the flavor, so I I threw it away. See if it can cut paper. It could not. And here's more of a close up, and you'll see it uh, lacks some symmetry, and uh, you know there's some definite flaws, some rough areas that could have been sanded better. But hey, it was fun to do, and I enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts.